What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm really excited to bring you a Spyderco Manix 2 build. Picked this one up on the secondhand market and I got some goodies to install on this. Let's get into it. All right, so first thing we need to do is reveal the scales. If you weren't paying attention to the mail call, I got these scales here also on the second hand market, which was the motivation behind my build. These are the rock scale design scales. They are, I believe if I recall correctly, completely replacing the scales. Yeah, you see they don't have the jipping marks on there, so they're going to replace the liners and the scales, so you'll need to break it down completely. Also, the anodized... Uh, 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 let's try that again. The anodizing job on here is a little bit bad towards the tip, so you will need to get your Weeha bit and go ahead and disassemble. Take the pocket clip off, whether you have the aftermarket or the factory, and I am going to completely remove this because I'm going to try to finish touching up the purple. What is still on here tight? You are, I did not loosen you at all it looks like. Okay, with that done, go ahead and take, Lord have mercy, your hardware, <laughs> it doesn't wanna fall out. I do need this out of here though if I wanna anodize it because these are all steel bits. So give me one second to try to work this guy out does sometimes take a little bit of effort and I don't want to let's try I don't have the fingers well it's poking me a little bit there we go so I am trying to push that out so this has a little bit of bronze in it still I'm going to take it over to the bath and see if I can fix that real quick be right back so I think we got rid of the bronze and we're completely purple now so let me try so we're good there let's go ahead and finish disassembling the Mannix 2 it has been a little while since I've done one of these so bear with me i believe all the rest of the hardware is t nope t8 everything is t8 so we'll go ahead and remove this side give me one second there we go these guys do not want to fall out. There we go. Move those to the side. The other reason I like this mat so much, I know it's not the prettiest mat in the world, but I love that it's magnetized so that when you are laying your bits on that side, they actually will sit still until you um, need to go back to them. Oh, that's right. It's a... Uh, Give me a second, because you got to work it over top of the lanyard hole. Mm. Goodness gracious. Mm. I tell you, these lanyards, lanyard holes are the worst. I try to do it this way because I don't want to wrench on or scratch up the coating on the blade, but they can be a bit of a pain to work loose, especially if it hasn't been disassembled a lot. I'm going to move my scales out the way. Amazon's here. I wonder what they're delivering. Mm. Mm. Just try to be very careful with these because you don't want the blade collapsing on you. Woo, this lanyard barrel, I'm telling you. Oh, 
Mm. Pain, pain, pain. What a pain, what a pain. Let me try to jiggle it off. There we go. It's coming, it's coming. It's just very snug. <laughs> if you can't tell. Oh, goodness. Let me try to go the other way. Move the scale over. Let's try to go this way. Mm. Gosh. Such a pain in the butt. are back I need to try to dig out some of the red cloth in there I actually had to press fit that hole plug there that I did purple but that is the rock whatever scale that replaced the liners and man what a difference a set of skinny scales make on the Manix 2 just completely transformed it what do you say we clean this mess up and come right back and look at these without the gloves on so I can give you a proper look at that. We'll be right back. All right, now we're back over at the table. We have cleaned up the hardware, cleaned up the table, and trying to clean the oil off of my little stop pin here, my pocket clip. But what do you guys think? Rock Island, Skinny Scales, Titanium, Milled. I got the purple going on with the plug and the actual ball cage with the pocket clip now. So a little purple on black action going and uh, really smooth. And I cannot even express how nice the Skinny Scales on a Manix 2 really are. I really like the way this looks and the way this came out. What do you think about this build? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I will have to do like a long-term impression on the scales, but right out the bat, man, that is nice. Super, super nice. Great choke up point too. Everything works really well. Great access to the ball cage for this one. And uh, I will say this Meton Boss plug here, the lanyard hole plug, woo -wee, that is a tight, tight fit. I do not look to take look forward to taking it down the first time, but I'm hoping after taking it on and off a few times, it'll move on a little bit easier. And I'm very familiar with Lynch Northwest Deep Carry Pocket Clips. Really like those a lot. So really cool build here. I like the way that came out. So happy that I decided to build my own Manix. If you enjoyed the video, Feel free to leave a like, if not, totally understand. Thanks to everyone out there that supports the channel by regularly liking and watching the videos and commenting. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, peace.